What are your thoughts as you look ahead to the upcoming season? Um, we're hoping to run as many races as we possibly can. Um, it's just really tough with uh not a lot of sponsorship and um we do have good great sponsors, the ones that we do, but uh um the traveling is it's 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 very expensive and with the price of gas and everything going up, it's uh it's tough. So we're gonna concentrate on the cult the closer ones to home for sure and um, if we're able to make some of the further ones away, we definitely want to make it up to Sunset. Sunset was uh, uh, one of my favorite tracks on the, the traveling anyways. Um, my home track, Delaware. So uh, we like Delaware and Flamborough, but uh, Sunset is a lot of fun. So we're hoping to to try to get as many races in as we can this year. I say last year, I mean, obviously we know we had the rough moments in that with the 58, but you had the great run at Delaware that with a couple top 10 finishes on the um, Canada Day weekend. Yeah, it was uh, it was great actually. Uh, we started off the year actually with Flamborough there. We actually got a second place in our heat. Um, led a bunch of led a bunch of laps, and um, so this car was new to us two years ago, and we'd struggle a little bit. And uh, but we were we're getting the speed, and yeah, Delaware's uh, after the big wreck that we had there two years ago, and on the front straightaway, uh, we had to completely rebuild the car. So we uh, spent a lot of time and money getting it back to where it was, and. Uh, we were very, very happy with getting a sixth place there, in Delaware, and uh, even a heat race win. Um, so we're, we've had it's a love hate relationship with that track. Uh, we do well, or, or we're on the record, and um, and ninety nine percent of the time it's not our fault. We just get caught up in somebody else's stuff, and uh, so, but we'll we'll still be back there for sure. Just say. Hopefully we have new luck, uh, better luck with the new body. Because just before we start the actual official interview, you're talking about the fact that your team has put a new body on the chassis for this year. Yeah, we haven't uh, we haven't let it out of the the bag yet, but uh, it's <laughs> it's the racing community somehow or another. Secrets don't last very long, so um, no, we're building an eighty nineteen eighties Le Mans Pontiac Le Mans, um, the old uh, NASCAR style, um, and we're actually. Uh, we're changing going back to our old number. Uh, I've ran Delaware for like 20 years and 99% of the time we were number 11. So we were, uh, we're going to go back to number 11 with a new body and uh, a fresh start. And, and hopefully we can come out strong this year. And uh, if we can pick up some sponsors, then uh, we might try to run the full season. The last two years in a row, we've uh, after the first three races, we've been sitting in the top five in points, just uh, not had the funding to uh, continue it. So we're hoping that maybe if uh, we can get a little extra help, we can uh, try to run for the points this year. Right on. I mean, other than obviously changing up the look and hopefully shaking off those bad bad luck cobwebs, what do you feel that you and the team need to work on to become even a bigger threat to be in the top five weekly? Um, a little bit more on the on the on the traveling tracks. Um. Like I said, we've raced the big track, and uh, we 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 know the setup there very well. Um, the small tracks are, are a whole different beast. Um, it's um, something that we're not that familiar with. So just getting our setup uh, so that we're not struggling the whole day, and then finally almost hit it for the feature. We need to be a lot closer when we get to the track. So a lot more shop shop preparation just to be ready when we hit the track. How did you get your start in racing? My parents raced uh, when I was just a very young kid at Delaware in the enduro races. Um, so I've been going to the races ever since I was a tiny kid. And then uh, I just, when I was 20 years old, I picked it up and uh, here, we are. here we are now 23 years later. So You mentioned like those years that you spent at Delaware and that, you know, with a different car number, you know, different, different stuff. What's the most memorable moment from that that stands out for you? Um... It, probably my first win. I um was racing in the V8 stock. I had a 1979 Camaro, and uh, we'd finished uh, nine times. We'd finished second that year, and then finally the last race of the year, we ended up winning the race. So that was my first win, and uh, it was it was well deserved because we were we were there every week. We just couldn't finish the deal. Who would you consider your racing hero? Uh, way back in the day, and probably not many people will know him, but uh, Jeff Coward. I I grew up watching him. He drove uh 
a little Malibu. So very close to what I'm driving this year. Um, he was number 11. Uh, that's how I ended up getting my number was just from cheering him on. And he was more of an underdog because he wasn't a Camaro. Um, he wasn't a full size Monty. Uh, he was just, uh, he was one of those cars that always was there and just like a little thorn in your side, but, uh, he was always great to watch. With everything that you've done in your career, what would be a piece of advice that you'd offer to someone getting started? Start small. Um, I, you find sometimes that guys want to, they get big sponsors and they want to come out and they just want to uh, go right to the top. Um, learning the track, learning how to drive a car, learn how to, to get hit by another car. Because uh, when you get bumped and when you get pushed around, um, it changes your whole mentality of how you drive and uh so a lot of guys come out with these big sponsors and everything and go right at it. And um, I, I think starting slow and, and and learning the situation and that and then working your way up. Uh, don't rush it. it is, there's a long career there. Like most of us have been in it. We get in it and we're in it till we we die, basically, because it's just it's in our blood. But people that do are that maybe interested in uh, sponsoring you to help you put together a full season. How can they get a hold of you? Uh, they can contact me on Facebook um, or through Dave uh, Gainsforth, um, through the Oscar. I, I don't do too much social media. I'm a, more of a car guy than I am a computer guy. Uh, I wish I was more of a computer guy because it would probably help my situation out a little bit better. But, yeah, we have uh, tons of room on the car, and uh, we promise that the car is going to come out, and it's going to be an eye-turner for sure.